Hi folks, Josh Spencer here with Hit or Miss Outdoors. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how we clean one of our turtles. We uh, had some traps out and caught several turtles and uh, they're good eating, so we're gonna clean them, and show y'all how, how we do it, in case you all wanna put out some lines and get some of your own. I got Callie here with me, it's my daughter. She might help a little bit and my son Owen's coming. So. Never know, they may be able to help a little bit. Hopefully don't take a finger off. These turtles, I'm gonna show them to you real quick. Let me see here, they're down in this tank. I usually let them uh, put fresh water in and let them kind of clear themselves out. Uh, but these turtles are huge and they will take a finger off. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean or cut the head off and the feet off not on camera because people throw a fit over that kind of stuff oh i can't believe you did that on camera you know uh so i'm gonna go ahead and do that part and i'll show you what we do stick with us thanks for joining here to miss outdoors before we start cleaning and uh before i cut this turtle's head and legs off and start the cleaning video i'm gonna show you all how big some of these turtles are. This right here is a full size basketball. A, you know, good size ball. I'm gonna lay it down here beside this turtle. Look at that. That thing is huge. I'd say more than 30 pounds is what that turtle weighs. He is a big one. And he'll be good eating. Stick with us. One thing you gotta remember with these turtles is once you've got their head off, you treat it as just like it was still on the body because that thing will clamp down on you for a while after its head is off. Y'all see there, he'd open its mouth, stick something in there, and it will clamp down and have it. So uh, just make sure you don't put anything, any kind of hand or anything near that head uh, after you've cut it off. All right, folks, I've cut the head off this monster turtle here and the tail, or the feet off. So now what you wanna do you want to lift the skin up around the neck and that's where I usually start and go all the way around the shell and cut the skin loose just barely inside now on the side here there's a seam for the belly plate and you just go in that seam and it's real soft and easy to cut that's it my kids are sitting here on the truck, so if y'all hear them saying something, that's what uh, you're hearing. But uh, I cut around the skin, or cut around the shell, cutting the skin loose. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and uh, I just go, like I said, all the way around. Dinosaurs are me. not real. They are robots. Oh, and I play robot dinosaurs. Owen, hush. What? Uh, Owen said dinosaurs aren't real. They're robots. I play robot dinosaurs. He's uh, into Jurassic Park and stuff. But. In the Lego one. Anyways. Uh, Owen, we're trying to make a video, okay? So, gotta be quiet. Alright, we've cut all the skin loose all the way around. Then what I do is I go to the front here and get the neck out. So you just grab the skin where you took it loose from the tail and you just kind of peel it up, pull the meat out. Sometimes it can be tough to do and you gotta be careful in case you still got a hook in it or anybody else has got a hook. I've caught them before with other people's hooks in them or uh 
a hook that from years ago that's still got a, just a little rusty end left in there they'll rust away and pass them uh but then i do the two front legs the same way i pull i've got the neck all the way out i'll do the front legs peel them out sometimes they can be tough and you just use your knife and help it along just kind of cut away anything you need to to get it to peel that skin off some uh, cartilage or whatever don't take much but uh, you do that to both front legs get them peeled out just like the neck all right after we've peeled out the front legs you just pull up the belly plate and just kind of help it along with your knife and cut right against the belly plate and that'll drop everything out stay right up against the top and what you'll do is right in the center of the belly plate you'll cut the back legs or joint loose right at the very back of the belly plate okay it's opened up just like that here's your uh back joint where the two legs back legs attach okay so you'll continue cutting that back until you reach the meat of the back legs and then on it you're going to do exactly what you did on the front you're just going to start helping it along with your knife and cutting it away pulling the skin back until you peeled the back legs loose just keep pulling it back cutting and peeling this stuff does take some time you know it, it it's not a quick cleaning process but also if you use a turtle line like me sometimes you'll have some bad spots in the neck where the hook might have got hung or something you just cut that away cut any nasty looking stuff away and toss it there's still a lot of good meat on that neck so uh, we'll continue to peel these legs loose and start on the tail after that. All right, now here's the tail. I've got it peeled back to about the size of a half dollar, maybe a little bit bigger. And I'll just cut around the tail, cut the meat, and uh, get down to where I feel bone all the way around. All right, then what I'll do is I'll bend the tail up and back and try to break that bone loose and just barely cut the meat away. All that belly plate and skin is all scrap. You need to have a good scrap bucket. It's one thing that's important to have when you're cleaning a turtle, scrap bucket. All right, so now where the back legs join, right in the center, I'm gonna put my knife in there and push down sometimes i use the butt of the knife hit it and break it in two it's sometimes kind of tough just like on a deer uh breaking through the back legs i know anybody that hunts deer can tell you sometimes if you get a big buck especially this is a big turtle uh it can be kind of tough so Keep working it, working your knife until you break through. You heard break there, I'm sure. Okay, you separated the back legs then, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna cut any meat in between the back legs and the tail to separate that. Also, on the tail, you'll have the part of the gut that goes out so the turtle can poop so what you do is you cut away the meat around it and peel it out of the way okay so there is that you'll just get underneath it and fillet it off the meat 
So you don't want that in anything. And just lay it up out of the way. All right. So now I'm going to cut in between the tail and the back legs all the way down to the shell and cut all the meat loose. Okay. Now where the back legs meet the shell, I'm going to cut around it all the way. And all this bright yellow here, let me pull out a piece and show you. This right here, it's all just fat. You just want to get rid of all that you can, throw it away. But if it's not in your way and you're not going to use the shell, just leave it in the shell. But you cut around the very bottom of the shell, around the leg, just get it loose from the uh, other guts and ligaments and all that. And once I cut it and get it loose all the way down at the bottom, I'll spin the leg. And it'll kind of pop loose down there. Once it's popped loose, you just take your knife, cut away anything that's left. The turtle, a lot of people will uh, put it on a board and put a nail through the shell uh, to hold it because it's a big dome. It's hard to kind of hold in place. It wants to spin and stuff. But here's one leg on that turtle. Look how much meat is on that. It's just loaded with meat. That will be good eating. They say turtles have got seven different kinds of meat, I think is what they say. A lot of it's white like fish, dark like steak, you know, uh, kind of dense like chicken in spots, but it's really good meat. I'm going to lay this here to the side, and what you do is do that to all four legs. Just cut them loose all the way down to the shell, and twist them off and pull them out, and then I'll show you the neck and the tail. All right, folks. Now we've got our pile of legs here. And all we've got left is the neck and the tail. So on them, it's basically the same thing. You just cut the meat all the way down to the shell where all you have holding is the bone. Cut all the way around it. That's kind of why I like to leave my turtle loose and not tied down because it's easier to spin and uh, kind of get to everything you know and you're not trying to work around the board so once it is all the way down to the shell cut loose all you've got is bone there i'll just twist it loose sometimes it can be tough slip out of your hand but you'll hear it kind of snap a bone and then you can just pull it loose there see what i'm talking about how white that meat is it's like fish beautiful meat and uh, you just add that to your pile for now that's the neck now the tail same way cut it all the way down against the shell Get all the way around to your hip bone and you know when you hit bone it's solid okay Cut all it down. The tail I usually push towards the center of the turtle and it'll kind of pull loose. And you kind of pull, help it along. There's the tail. A lot of good meat on it. Now, some of the littler turtles won't have very much meat. They might have a, a little bitty tail, and then it's up to the person whether it's worth it to get the tail because after you remove uh, their rectum and all that, there's not a whole lot of meat left on a little turtle. But this turtle here, that's completely done. Uh, all this is scrap, unless you want to use the shell for something. I don't use it uh, because I've caught so many and if I bleached them and hung them up, I'd have look like turtle wallpaper. Uh, but the smaller ones, I have seen people make turtle or turkey calls and stuff like that out of it. But I'm gonna show you here. This right here is just a big old pile of meat meat and the bone is in it but uh this right here just this one turtle you could make two meals for a family of three uh i have a family of five three kids and my wife and myself and 
this will feed us a really good meal. Maybe even have my parents come over and eat it with us. And the uh, way I cook it is I'll put these in a crock pot, salt and pepper, all you need. Put a little bit of water in the bottom, just enough to get some moisture in there. And uh, I'll cook it on low for most of the day. Maybe put it in at 10 o'clock in the morning. And by that evening, I'll turn it off and the bones just fall out of it. All you have is cooked meat. Well, you can either eat it like that, or the way I like to do it is I'll bread the meat in Kentucky Colonel or uh, Andy's, you know, some kind of breading, and I'll deep fry it to get a good crust, golden crust on the outside, and everybody is pleased. The kids love it, my wife loves it, and uh, you won't be disappointed. So uh, if you want to store it, I'll take it and put it in a vacuum seal bag, uh, vacuum seal it up with some water in there, and throw her in the freezer. So uh, that's the way you clean a turtle and I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you'll get you some lines out there and clean you some turtles and have some to eat. It's a really good cheap meal. I've probably got, I've got a dozen turtles to clean and uh, I may have in my supplies $15. Uh, I've got some old tobacco sticks that, you know, to stake down for my line to go on. Uh, the line was I think $6 and the hooks were four dollars and you know i don't remember anything else that i needed you know uh it's just your time that's all you got to put into it so take a little time get you some turtles and watch us on youtube again thank you for joining hit or miss outdoors